Hey, good looking, I'm Vixen, and welcome back, or welcome for the first time. In the last episode, this happened. Give me a key to a stupid mirror thing. Let the epic story continue. Right, let's go free my cat. It's been too long. Too long! I finally have another key. Let us hope it is the right one. I think this is the key! Good. Yes! It worked! My dear kitty! It worked! Come out! Let me hug you! Mr. Midnight! I desire physical hugs. Oh, she's crying. Oh, We're together again. Everything's okay now. Oh, Yay, I have a cat friend now. Oh, Oh. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free. Fran, my good friend. Time to go home. You're free, my dear. Now it's time to go home. Why does she look so sad? Yes, let's go. What am I doing? Okay, so what happened with... How do I leave? Do I have to see the ghost girl again? Nope, I have no idea how to leave. <laughs> oh, oh, look at how he runs. Come on, come on, Mr. Midnight, where are you going? Time to see the ghost girl. Why is he going the opposite way to me? Is he trying to show me the way? Because if he is, I am going the complete opposite way. I've just noticed the hand is a severed hand. Like the pointer. <laughs> You'd think I would have noticed that before. Hi, Mr. Frog. I did it. We're free. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That is perfect. Now I can leave this place and go to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how... But how... You will get out of here. There is no boat. Can you help us? I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you, but I'm too tiny. We'll give you the baking soda. Even though my body is quite moldable. It would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Time to baking soda. Time to baking soda. I just want to switch and see if I can help the ghost girl now. Oh, my cat can't travel with me to alternate worlds. Hi, I freed you. Nope. Okay. That was a waste of time. Right. Baking soda it is. Use with the toad. Take this, toad. It may help, or you might just die a horrible death. I'm not a bakery bun. But it's magic. But you are all slimy and soft, like dough. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. Whoa! <laughs> what up? You're beautiful! Look at those beautiful eyes! It worked! It really did! I'm so big and I feel gorgeous! <laughs> Great! Let's go home! Come, Mr. Midnight! Let's do this!
Let's go. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. He wants to help. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, if he tries anything, I will scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him so much while we're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this- <gasps> My family photo! I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Yay! I thought I'd lost it forever! Good thing the sewer leads right here. Thank you, Mr. Toad. And this book was with it too. Did I lose a book? Leon? Who's Leon? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Toad! You found my family photo! Thank you very much! I thought I had lost it forever, but the book is not mine. Oh well. Oh well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. <laughs> Wow! Thank you! I like pictures! Well, let's go now. Yes, here we go. Hold on tight. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I stare into the void and it sees my soul. <laughs> uh, he looks like the slug people from Future Armor. Mixed with the Hypnotoad. Ooh, some jazzy music going on here. Oh, it's a game, I see. <coughs> what do I do? And jump. And jump. What? How did I miss that? Jump. It's all claymation! That's friggin' cool! Jump! I said jump! You've missed it! You fool! You fool! Ah, three million years later. Do do. Right? Jump! He jumps quite slow. Jump! 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 Yeah! Did it! And there's a million more. I hope if I die I don't have to go all the way back to the start. Jump! Quickly! Oh my god, that was close. Well now what? Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Quick! Hurry! Hurry yourself, Leaf! Oh, that was bad. That was so close to bad. I don't want to jump on that flower. Something come. Something come! Something come! Something come! Ah! Jump on this quickly! Oh my god! <laughs> They're doing that on purpose, aren't they? Jump. Good. How many times do I have to do this? Many, apparently. I can't stop jumping, so... We're... No! What have you done? Oh, please don't take me back to the beginning. Good. Good. Why would you do that like an idiot? Okay. Well, I can't stop him jumping, so... Like, something's just gonna have to appear. Oh, I see. He just goes back and forth. I thought he was going to jump over the end. Okay. Onto this leaf. Glorious. Glorious indeed. Uh, do I want to jump onto this? He didn't jump, and now I'm screwed. Maybe I should jump onto that, and then jump onto that. Oh no, look, we've got something going on here. 
Chug. <sighs> this is surprisingly uh, terrifying. Jump. For I'm a love jumping and feel my touch. Jump if you want to taste. How did you miss that? You friggin' fool. Oh my god, now I have to wait for this. I'm not going to accidentally skip. Okay, let's see. After this leaf. So that's where I jumped. Onto that leaf. And then what happens? Okay, I have to jump into that leaf because nothing else is there. Oh, I didn't jump into this leaf. I was not paying attention. But if I jump into that leaf, I die. Look, there was nothing else there. Jump onto this. Maybe I just have to be quicker about it. But by the time I jump onto that leaf, it's already passed. Okay, jump. Jump. Oh, we did it. That time's the charm? Looks like it is. Right, I think we might have just finished the chapter. No. <laughs> uh, they look like they just experienced something truly horrifying, which I guess they did. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Do I have to make you smaller? I mean, are your family going to be okay with this? Can you even fit in your old house? Thank you, Mr. Toad. We couldn't have done it without you. What did you do with the bag? Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Farewell, friend. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Bye! Fran, what should we do now? Go home. Find the way back home, Kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ugh, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, Kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. On y va! Okay. <laughs> Uh, some flowers. Beautiful flowers grow in the mud. Are you a stone? Well done, man. What the hell was that? I'm going to assume that was a glitch. I just realized I haven't read this book. Examine. Oh dear mother and father. Sometimes I'm very afraid of my thoughts. Ah, oh, Fran. Okay, let's see what this is. What the F? I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. Leon Castillo. Or Castillo. One of the thousand. Okay, someone like bleeding eyes. July 11th, 1908. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. Is this you in present day? Because you don't look 92, Doge. Dode? Dude. Doge. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Nobody asked, but thanks. 
Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even those I never got a, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence. You become one with everything. Ah. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. Wait, what? Oh, 1908. Good. I was like... <coughs> I thought I thought it was 1975. And I was like, he was already 92. How can he be that old? Anyway, back in time. I can't stop it. December 17th was a date I had to remember to open a code. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Can you see? Cry because it hurts. December 19th. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows... <coughs> One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, or Remor, Remor, Prince of Darkness, from the fifth reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Because it, it exists because you're afraid? It's a personification of your fear? Inside my head, the stone of wisdom. Inside my head, the brain? What the F? January 13th, a year later. <coughs> I can see myself around. The other me. Tell me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, Kill yourself. And I've tried, hypnotized by his words. But there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. Or just instinct. January 15th. I met a shadow. I meet a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Kamalas. Their race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining and it walked away from me, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Because it left the rain? <laughs> January 16th. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. So that was a thing in the forest. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. Ethirsta awaits. All Volokas must go there after waking up. Volokas, if you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. February 2nd. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Ramor from the fifth reality. If there is a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ithirsta may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Volokas invitation. Since I saw the Volokas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. So time is not linear, is what you're saying. March 13th. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most people. I wish I could find a friend just like me, because my son, 
He thinks I'm insane. Ugh. July 25th. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws. <coughs> and only apply our reality laws because there are not only law they are not only laws but also behaviors. Chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while dying. November 11th. Looks like an axolotl. Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot the creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognised. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviours in, in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as platelets and white blood cells but at a very high speed. November 22nd. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounding my house. Big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Beings in Mythasta are varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in the reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Okay, do I need to remember this? I have the book, so it's fine, but Ahefasili the Edge Yafi Hai Ax I Higi Kao Elia Mai Nihi O Pe Kiu Egre Sahe Tem I Ie Iedis Yax Igris Ench Ao E was that part of no I was wondering if that was part of the alphabet of the spell but there's no B in it and there was definitely a word with B in it in the spell right. the great for locus is the beginning of the first reality primeve light Velocus shield the Velocus body structure is quite different from ours they are made out of photons and sound waves they're also both male and female when the youngster reach age 299,792,459 They are crowned with the shield. That's an oddly specific number. Zaya, creation of the great Velokas, king of Ithasta, second reality. Life. February 13th. Being in Ithasta feels like becoming what you can't understand on earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. That would be really odd. Pandora, creation of the five realms of essential existence, free, resides in the human world, third reality. Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. Senersedi, the end of vibration. When both ends of opposites are the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality death mabuka is the end of light so that's the monster M mabuka march 25th mother mabuka is letting me go oh S is it the creature i've spent 15 days here in mabuka's den and i'm tired i don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me feels like love is everywhere and in everything i enjoy crying I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. No date recorded. Oh, the little th things. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka sent me to the en sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. Ah, oh, so that's what they are. I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. Luciferns gather gather in filaments. That's why they look like they are growing hair. And the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. Dober second. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. So that's the time thing from before. It's a creative force and with creativity evolution is inevitable.
And then there's something going on here. I'm guessing that's part of the puzzle. Wow, that was a long book. Right, before we progress, I'm going to switch dimensions. Yep. Figured something horrible would be in the water, and I was correct. Not that it really makes a difference, but... Uh, uh, tried to save... <coughs> Tried to save her baby and they both died anyway. Oh dear, a baby. Oh, oh dear, a baby skeleton. I guess. Whoops. Good night and sweet dreams. I guess they didn't make it in time. This is like that scene in Ice Age. Okay, that's clearly a glitch. Oh look, the thingy majiggers. Hello, Lucifans. Sir. Are you the curious insects that get stuck? They are sleeping. Maybe they are not stuck. Well, I hope they have their hair comb. I don't think I could probably do anything with them. I mean, I could cut them free, but I think probably not. Let's just switch. Well, that's all for today, folks, but the story will continue. I hope you all have a wonderful afternoon, evening, morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. I will see you all in the future. TTFN and cheerio!